is good guys back here with another YouTube video and in case you cannot tell by the title below this video will be a video where I share my review of Wrestlemania 39 night one before we get started a couple of things would love it if uh, you guys let me know your thoughts are on Wrestlemania 39 uh, either night preferably night one because this is the review for it as well as the stage for Wrestlemania 39. I'm kind of personally in between. I like it more than other years, but there's other years I like it more than the stage. Uh, and whatnot, like usual, there's nothing really noteworthy on the pre-show, like no matches or anything. So let's get going with the main card. So the first match on the main card was announced within the last week or so that it would be John Cena versus Austin Theory for the US Championship. And for myself personally, it was an okay match, not necessarily like I think this will one will be more remembered for John Cena's entrance than the match itself kind of deal uh, and whatnot for myself personally match was okay not terrible not amazing uh, kind of deal and whatnot. To my personal surprise Austin Theory uh, won uh, via or kind of via uh, low blow than his uh, finisher for the one two three when the ref was knocked uh, down uh, and whatnot but yeah uh, that was pretty much it to kick off WrestleMania night one. Then you had the Fatal 4-Way men's uh, tag match, which featured uh, the Street Profits, uh, Ricochet, Braun Strowman, um, Alpha Academy and War Raiders, uh, War Machine, Viking Raiders, whatever you would prefer to know them as. Personally, cheering for the Viking Raiders, but Street Profits ended up winning a, a good match, or at least better than what I expected uh, match and whatnot. Overall, not necessarily a... It, it would have been a better or more entertaining match if it was on TV as opposed to WrestleMania, considering the build, but they uh, maximized uh, their minutes, to say uh, the least. You had the Logan Paul, Seth freaking Rollins match, a really good fun match and I had to remind myself a couple of times in this match that this is what Paul's third one-on-one -on -one match fifth match overall overall and one of them was in the rumble uh this year and I was half expecting Logan Paul uh to win because he still is that celebrity even though he is supernatural for myself personally in the ring and whatnot he logan paul came out in a zip line kind of sort of somewhat ksi was in some prime costume uh thingamabob he kind of sort of went through a table or he ended up lying on the spanish announce table and logan paul did an elbow drop from the uh, ropes uh turnbuckles onto ksi i have no idea who he is so it didn't like it was a cool spot but i had no idea like and whatnot. Then one thing led to another, and Logan Paul did uh, went for a coast to coast. Seth Rollins did a, a super kick. Then uh, Stomp, one, two, three. Really good, fun match. Probably the match that I would recommend for casual fans or people who aren't wrestling fans, kind of deal and whatnot. You had the six women's uh, tag match featuring Damage Control against Becky Lynch, Trish, Stratus, and Lita, which was Lita's first WrestleMania match since WrestleMania 18 and her second overall, which when I heard that, kind of mind-blowing. Don't know if it's true, but I think it, it sounds about right uh, kind of deal uh, and whatnot. But for myself personally, I'm not saying it was a bad match, but in comparison to other matches up to that point, wasn't necessarily the best kind of deal. Again, still technically a good match, but not as excellent as the other ones, if that makes any sort of sense. Then you had uh, Rey Mysterio versus Dominic Mysterio in a match that I liked more than what I thought it would or I would kind of deal and whatnot. I won't go over everything. Both men's entrances really like uh, and whatnot. Might have shed a tear to you for Ray's uh, kind of deal uh, and whatnot. But either way, the match was good, what I expected. Uh, Damien Priest, uh, Finn Balor came out, which led, uh, I know that they're LWO now, but Legado del Fantasma 
come and go. One thing led to another. Um, Dominic got a chain from Damien, I think it was Damien Priest's jacket. Bad Bunny, who was on commentary, um, uh, was, uh, took the chain, uh, kind of deal, which one thing led to another, 619, Frog Splash, Rey Mysterio picked up the win. Then, in the second last match of the night, you had for the SmackDown Women's Championship, Rhea Ripley versus, uh, Charlotte, and with this one not being the main event, I was 50-50 on who was actually going to win. If it was the last match of the night, figured that Rhea Ripley would. If it was anywhere else on the card, I would be more 50-50 on who would actually win. But honestly, I, like I said, I think in the uh, reaction video, I am super excited that... Uh, Rhea has won. She's probably my favorite, if not top two favorite, women's wrestlers going anywhere in the world uh, today, no matter what the promotion, no matter what the brand uh, kind of deal. Overall, harder hitting than what I thought it would be. Like, I figured it would be hard hitting, but uh, scrapes and bruises kind of deal, if not more uh, injuries considering. I think it was a belly to back suplex. Rhea did to Charlotte where Charlotte or overhead belly back suplex thing where Charlotte pretty much landed on her face uh kind of deal nose was a little bit bleeding uh kind of deal don't know if it's broken I'm not a doctor uh or anything close to it uh kind of deal but overall better match than what I thought it would be and when I mentioned that the Charlotte Rhea Ripley match was the second last one uh, match, I forgot about the Pat McAfee Miz match because completely unannounced, pretty much Snoop Dogg, Miz were in the ring announcing the attendance. Uh, one thing led to another, Pat McAfee came out uh, and whatnot. One thing led to another, um, and the match happened and. Pat McAfee won, and I can't really go into more detail about the kind of match, because that was my bathroom break uh, kind of deal uh, and whatnot, but it's cool to see Pat McAfee still with WWE, even though he's not fully with WWE and whatnot, but this was a nice bathroom break, kind of, I don't know for sure filler is the right word, but like, a little bit of a breather, I guess, would be the best way to put it. Then, in the main event for the Tag Team Championships, uh, the Usos defending against Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn, and uh, I, I don't know for sure if I held it in well during the live reaction, but I'm not going to do, going to now, but Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn, Tag Team Champions, which... That in itself, really cool to see. But knowing that two guys from Quebec representing Quebec Wrestling just main evented Mania is super cool for myself. At, granted, I'm not from Quebec, but fellow Canadian uh, and whatnot. And I remember seeing these guys wrestle in front of 150 people. If that, I had a ROH show over a decade ago and now they're tag champions. Make, in a way, making history because of the whole Quebec factor. Uh, but also, this was the first time a tag match main event at a WrestleMania since WrestleMania 1. The first time the tag titles uh, were defended in the main event. Uh, so yeah, that's cool. Uh, I shed a lot of tears during Zayn and Owen's entrance. Uh, not gonna lie, I think I put that out on Twitter uh, and whatnot. Uh, but yeah, overall, really... <sighs> good fun match I was like being able to sit back and watch this match and actually legitimately enjoy it and have that emotional investment super cool uh, and whatnot uh, but yeah that was Wrestlemania 39 night one would love to know your thoughts and opinions on night one down in the comments below while you are down there feel free to hit the like subscribe turn on post notification of course you don't have to if you don't want to but it would mean a lot to myself if you did more importantly hope you guys are doing okay mentally emotionally and physically the world that we tend to make up is nothing but a fantasy until you wake up i feel like i'm just lying to myself lying to myself yeah
Cause I just crossed the line like I'm playing offside. I do it how I want and I'ma do it till I die. I feel like I'm just lying to myself. But it's 